what's up you guys this is Alexis with the C and this is Chris and we're on our way to St. Louis Missouri and I wanted to do a video in the car so uh, what we're going to be talking about is why people look at us so funny when we go places because we're flaming homosexuals now because we're lesbians and I get you know Chris looks you know rather well she looks masculine you know she looks different from me so when they see us together they automatically assume I'm gay I mean which I am but the fact is that they automatically assume I am why can't we just look at something that's different and take it for what it is and gone about our business like why does it have to be such a judgmental factor on when you see something different I agree. Um, I had said something earlier on one of my comments, basically saying that people rather fit in than face possible rejection standing out. How does it make you feel when the fact that people automatically judge you when they see you or have something negative to say when they see you because you do look different from a traditional woman? I agree. I feel like if you, when you judge people and you don't give them, you take people for just face value, then you miss out. You miss out on a lot of opportunities. You never know what kind of person it is or what kind of person that could turn out being for you. Or you you might need that person more than you think you do, and you just judge them just on based on outer appearance. And now you, I mean, you ruin a friendship. I just don't. What possible opportunity? One day I agree. Up and I'll be the person that you know. I'm gonna remember the fact yes. that you said something to take them or You can't be like that. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna remember. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna remember. It. I know. So, if you qualify, you know, yeah. I can't knock you to get a job, but <laughs> I'm gonna give you hell. They ain't gonna like you no more. <laughs> well I feel like people just need to start being more like you said, well, individuals. Be more individuals. Be more just you. You I mean can't nobody do you better than you. So how how are you gonna let somebody tell you you doing you is not right? <laughs> Stop trying to be like what you see on TV or what you see other people doing. Is I mean you can't go wrong with doing something that you've been doing, which is you. <laughs> True. But well, people don't know how to be themselves though. They don't, I guess they don't have the self esteem or self confidence or whatever. You know, some people are lacking in those type of areas. I agree. I really do agree with that. That's something we're going to have to do a longer video on. We'll be looking for a longer video for that, you guys. Um, we're getting ready to be closer to St. Louis. We'll be coming back with another video later on today. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to be talking about. Might be way more people in the video. You just have to stay tuned and watch. This is, what, part one of Spring Break 2011. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.